Hey everybody, welcome back to another Stoneface Reactions. I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we're here to watch some more Full Metal Alchemist. So Theta, what do you remember from last time in our dream sequence? Well, you know, they didn't implicitly say it was a dream sequence, you spoiler. <laughs> I figured that's just how we were interpreting it. He was drunk by the lake and had a dream. You know what he didn't do in that episode? What? Wake up. So how would you interpret it was a dream if he never woke up? As or a, maybe... As a famous movie that I recently watched a couple months back, is that you can't wake up if you don't fall asleep. Alright, alright. So he went to a party that turned into a lake later. Uh, so what do you remember? Everything that I've ever seen from the show. <laughs> you want to elaborate on it for us? If this is your memory. <laughs> well, uh, what I had planned to do was I was going to go over all the plot points of Full Metal Alchemist up until episode 27. or okay. I, should, I should say 26. Well, I had planned to do that, but my plan was to do that this morning. I was going to go through and do a bunch of writing. You know, because I'm from the same school that you went to, Griff, where you do your homework <laughs> in class the day after it's due. Look, as long as you ace the test, you don't have to do the homework. Which is not true. The teacher <laughs> will just get mad at you and then give you extra failing marks. Anyway, <laughs> I intended to do that, but then I was entirely sleepless last night. And not like energy sleepless, like body failing me can't fall asleep even though I really need to and want to. Uh -huh. uh, in fact, they're changing my medication. I was on for Charleston the other day. Anyway. Um, uh, and then my plumbing got entirely fucked up this morning, so I was outside with a hose trying to, trying to t clean up actual human feces. So, I've not been having a great day. And needless to say, I did not get any of the shit done that I wanted to. I got other shit done. You got other shit per, done, yeah. Per the previous. Can't, can't believe it. Putting home maintenance above anime. How could you? Well, more so that I didn't want to leave literal piling up shit in the house as I was sitting in a room to be recorded when other people could come home and wonder what the fuck is going on and why is this guy sitting in his room talking. Yeah. So, what do you want to do, Theta? Since you, you don't have that ready, you want to just go over what you remember, or at least where we are in the show. Well, where we are in the show is that, um... Al, a tiny potato panda, and uh -huh. a little girl, and Scar, and um, was a um, typical French villain with them? Uh, yes. I think his name starts with, like, a Y, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. I'm asking you. All it I is know is he literally looks like he's a... He's a mustache-twirling villain. He could be tying somebody to a train track, for all I know. Right, and who he is doesn't matter unless you've either read the manga or, like, watched the other anime where they actually have his episode in there. I just don't remember if he was with them or not. I remember uh, the he girl did not go was... downstairs with them, no. Right, so what you just said that he was was a lie, then. Huh? I said, is he with them? And you said yes. And then uh, uh, we as, went as... over the fact that he's French. <laughs> And you he's were like, no, with he's them, not is what with I them. mean, but he's not there actively on the scene. Right, so he's not with them, is what you're saying. <laughs> so, And we have the yeah. scene where Ed and uh, Ling are currently at. Mm -hmm. uh, they have all gone down into the sewers and are dealing with everything. We uh, haven't seen that. Last we saw Ed and, uh, well, last we saw Ed saw Al's body. But we didn't yeah. see it where Ed went after the door closed on him. Mm -hmm. And then we didn't see Ling either, because Ling, last we saw, was still in the stomach. Right. There's three characters that are about to pop out of somewhere. Uh, but Al is uh, staring at Father, I think, was the last scene we had. I'm pretty sure he'd opened the door, and then we didn't see what was on the other side of the door. So we're going to have a big, fun surprise today, and hopefully a whole bunch of lore. Oh, I've already had my big fun surprise today. Thank you. <laughs> Time for a second one. So, Theta, uh, 
anything you want to go ahead and say before we get started, like about where where things are going or what you hope to hear. Uh yeah. Always take care of your tree roots in your yard because you never know what they might interrupt plumbing or <laughs> concrete. It's a really important thing that if you didn't know, if you say you're under the age of I don't know, 25, you might not ever deal with. Mm -hmm. But yeah, tree roots, man. There you go. That's our word of advice for today, everybody. But before we get started, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below if you like trees and your yard. Uh, but if you want to watch more shows like this, Unfiltered, Uncensored, and Uncut, as well as some early access stuff, you can go ahead and catch us over on the Patreon. It's just $5 a month, but no pressure. It's to support the channel, just a little bit extra. Click the link down below, join the Discord, and avoid doing yard work. Oh gosh, I immediately forgot how bopping the new intro was. <laughs> it's funny, because I was literally going to say, not as good as the first intro. <laughs> I didn't say it was good, I just said it was bopping. Bopping tends to be a uh, a good thing. You say the song is bopping, you mean the song is good. I guess maybe more particularly, it's very improv jazzy in its feel. It's not jazzy at all. <laughs> But we already covered that Gundam does jazz, and it does it badly, mm -hmm. and that all jazz is bad. It's it's going, it's going like all a, over the place. This is more like That's a like... pop sound to it. <laughs> anyway, I think if you look online, bo a bop is a good thing. So you instantly said there was a bop right. and that it wasn't good. <laughs> it didn't make well, any well, sense. Well, I mean, I was using bop as a verb or not as, like, a noun, you know? So the song hits you over the head is what you're saying. <laughs> the, the, the song is actively in the process of bopping, but it is not a bop. How does one bop, Griff? How does a song yeah. <laughs> be in the process of bopping? Well, if you want to see me dance in my chair, I think we got a couple episodes of that. That'll be a demonstration how we bop. I haven't heard a song bop since Hanson. Very comfy stone chair. Dad's not home, but he says I can play on the Nintendo. You a human sacrifice! Your father? Where? This is happening too fast! <laughs> and who is this? Dad? I'd recognize that body from the neck down anywhere. <laughs> That was very comfortable. Uh, Envy couldn't have shrunk down before getting thrown. Envy is not a nice person. My shoe. You're back in your armor. I think the person who ate their shoe was Ed, actually. We're back in the real world. Guess so. Let me point out that your dad is standing on the stairs. Priorities, priorities. Well, one of these two people you haven't seen in a lot longer of a time. That would be your dad. I'm okay, Al. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I worried you. Where exactly did we wind up, though? This is somewhat surprising. People emerging from his stomach. What the? Hohenheim? Steel appendages. When your son starts calling you by your name. Are you two the Elric brothers? So you're... you're not? Have you mistaken me for someone else? Well, hold on. Oh, and... 
The name you say. By any chance do you mean von Hohenheim? And how is it the two of you are acquainted with him? Well, he's our father. <sighs> he's your father? This is indeed surprising. I had no idea he had children. <laughs> what was I doing? Getting drunk on the side of a lake. Progeny, then why is it that your family name is Elric? Elric is our mother's last name! Oh, is that so? So where has he been spending his time? Who cares? Just forget so him. really it should be you? Edward von Hohenheim, exactly which is a rich, cooler sounding name, I think. Listen! Think Brother, this guy's the one who... <laughs> it would appear that you're injured, and you're missing your left hand, aren't you? Before some human transmutation, right quick. <gasps> See, he's just a nice guy. <laughs> oh, he's an absent-minded psychopath. Look, I, I have the power of God. Allow me to use it on you. Not really. Look, I know what bones are made of. I don't need your whole body to transmute a bone. A few broken ribs as well. The alternative is Ed thinks the Philosopher's Stone's being used and is willingly letting those people's deaths be used to heal him. He performed a transmutation without any movement at all. And he didn't even thin out my armor. I too have benefited from the deaths of many people. You aren't human. What are you? What the hell's inside you? I would ask who you are, but I honestly don't care. <laughs> you can go ahead. When the villain goes from like doting over the two main characters, then looks at you like, who? This guy's our friend. You want to keep us happy, right? So don't kill him, please. But I have no need so I say when I barge Your into other people's houses, you want to keep us happy, right? You say? <laughs> Brother, the homunculi keep calling this guy their father. I think he's the one who created them. What? He did heal our wounds. What happened to your eye? Oh, it never mind. I was doing that upside down witch thing where you look at an image and it looks different. He looks down on humans and calls us fools. When you notice an insect on the ground, do you stop to consider it a fool? The life of an insect yes, is literally so every ant. It would be a waste of your time to even consider judging it. Foolish uh -huh. fool! That would be the point of the next ant in the next. Feelings towards you humans. Look, you might have healed our wounds, but that does not mean we're friends! It's pretty apparent that you're Typically the root does. of all this evil! I'm taking you down. I don't care how many cronies you got! Just it's just straight to business. You know, for all the people calling him small, not once has he alchemied up some stilts. He's thought of it before. You're attacking an old man in this house. He's one hand better than you. Thought oh, he's just gonna explode everything. Gotta get back to my Burning Man. <laughs> What's going on? I I've turned this back you. into a normal world. <laughs> the fact that he has that kind of power is what wild, still. Never cease to amuse me. You get a speck of power and you think you own the world. And you don't even know what that power is. You should have spent some more time in the you gate. Have the arrogance to assume that you're the one who's in control of this power. You're like a bad joke that keeps getting done. What are you bastards planning? You promised to tell me everything if I got you out! Huh? 
Why, I would never stoop so low as to make a deal with a worm like you. <laughs> Liar! <laughs> you talk far too much, Envy. Oh, sorry. See? Polite. You may prove to be rather <laughs> useful to me after all. I could always use a new pawn in the New body for greed. Perfectly normal third eye. What? Well, not Tien has one. Do what? He's going to make a new homunculus. Envy, you talk too much. The bloodstream. If it is able to merge, then a human-based homunculus is created. But it's more common for the stone to overpower the subject and kill them. I'm not gonna let you do this to him! AKA Bradley's origin story. Yup. They they set it up ahead of time and here we go again. Yeah, the story he told for no reason at all. You bearded bastard! Let him go! He's got people waiting for him to come back! Get off of me! To be fair, those are people who don't give a shit about him though. Oh maybe, except for the two bodyguards. Also, I don't think a bullet's going to affect Envy all that much. Exactly what I want, so you just stay out of it. Are you serious? I Jokes on you! I wanted the this. Stone. And now this guy wants to give me one. I'm not going to turn this down. Think about what you're doing. Hey. Well, he's getting what he asked for. But we'll see if your body is as willing as your mind. Willing is totally me in any RPG. I could die, but I could also get everything I ever wanted. <laughs> Joke's on you. I made my character for this moment. I told you to keep out of this! Don't you dare interfere! If, oh, only, yeah, <laughs> if only I had solved my bonitis. My one regret. It's the boy. Oh well, just hand over your body. I guess I'll have to make do with it. Fine with me. I guess the implication Consider here is that there's a lot of homunculi waiting to be born as well. I freely accept you. If you think every one of those faces are the homunculi waiting for a body. I am no normal man. My heart is large enough to hold 20 or 30 of you. <laughs> well, I do like how ambitious you are. Just don't try and change your mind. I'll never change my mind. My vassal lost her arm helping me search for this. I couldn't face her again if I came home empty-handed. I need this power. It's again, need it to protect the voice actor I know for being uh, the main character to in Tower of Juaga, who, who says the, the same exact type of shit. Your address is certainly appealing. But let's see if your stomach matches your appetite. Can you handle this? I mean, stomach matching your appetite is that other guy behind you. <laughs> Who's just happy to be here now? What? Ah, oh, you mean the guy I took this body from? Sorry, but your friend just checked out and left Greed this body. So, you're not Ling? Did he say Greed? Full metal. But if he's really Greed, wouldn't Greed know Ed? Alchemist. We're about to see what he remembers. So then. You the creed from before? Huh? What are you talking about? You don't remember us? From Dublin? Uh, you must have met some different greed. He was my avarice before you. Ah, I gotcha. That makes sense. Yes, I did you buy a thesaurus. You no, know, I'm not the greed you knew. But Ling. Hmm? Well, he was an interesting kid. He gave up his body without any fight at all. <sighs> You're lying! Ling would never give up and surrender himself so easily! Answer me, Ling! Ling! <laughs> Ling! Oh, the Chimeras are here. No, oh, the Chimera Killer is here. What's the matter? <laughs> No, he 
least not. It doesn't look like any of them are human. <laughs> Scar, how can you tell that? Well, one's a giant monster, the other one's a really weird old man, and the other one is uh, a little heavy. And this guy's Asian. <laughs> Damn it, Scar, why are you racist? The armored boy's not with the homunculi. And they've also got full metal. Where is he? Where is Mr. Edward? He's right there. Huh? He's not really here, is he? I told you, that's him right there. That little guy is the full metal. But everyone just, you know, stops. So these guys can have a comedic interlude. <laughs> yeah. Great time to release some tension, right? <laughs> to be fair, the only difference between your dream and reality is he's wearing a different shirt. Another human with his own plans. This is the insubordinate who's been using his destructive alchemy to carelessly interfere with our operation. Go ahead, Meech. He doesn't have his alchemy to stop you right now. Okay! He just used it a second ago. What? To be fair, I was looking the other way. So, uh, I'm putting that one point on the board for Envy is not entirely on the ball at all times. Again, she's pinning two guys to the ground. Just looking the other way. How can you use your alchemy here? What do you mean? I don't use alchemy. This doesn't make any sense. How can they still transmute? I don't know. I have no idea. But I think this is our chance. Says I've always said, around. Scar is a cheater. Scar! <laughs> you want to know the truth about what started the war in Ishval? In Ishval? The truth about who shot that child and started the uprising? He's standing right there! It was Envy disguised as a soldier! These guys orchestrated the entire war! To be fair, there were a lot of regular humans there who also took part. So maybe not entirely on the instigators. I'd like to hear more. Look, Scar's already this. angry. In between your screaming. It's the uh It's that argument from Look Who's Back. A lot of people did vote for me, said Hitler. <laughs> now tell me, for what purpose did you choose to slaughter all of my people? Depending on your answer. I'll send you to join God. No, you don't deserve to stand by God alongside my fallen brothers. Your only solace for my wrath will be damnation. Whoa, nice. He's got some pretty good moves. I appreciate the soundtrack filled with a guy saying "huh" Take a lot. The outsiders. Sure. I know you're still in there, Ling. Nope, just greed. <laughs> <laughs> I know him. That's Ling Yao of the Yao clan, right? <laughs> Creepy. This, this is now just absolute chaos. Let's talk. How are you able to use your alchemy? Hmm. Well, you are clearly still transmuting. <laughs> Physical destruction. Doesn't think that his brother would be on par with father. <laughs> were he not dead. If I had jumped one second later, Maybe if he completed his that. research. I mean, he kind of did. He had a creation arm and a destruction arm. <laughs> Can't do alchemy, but it's still a several hundred pound suit of armor. Whose origin is yet unexplained. Hohenheim, why did you have a suit of armor in your basement? You 
to? I thought you'd made it outside. <sighs> I don't think Envy should be able to fit in here. Make it to the surface with this girl. You would allow me to escape. Prepare for another one, classic one scar move where he just explodes the entire planets. sewer he's in. Yeah. Again. Well, I'd rather beat you senseless. And it makes me sick to have to ask you for help. But right now, we need to save this girl's life. What do you plan on doing? I don't understand it. But I mean, technically, Gluttony should be able to kill them right now. Me. They said they need me alive. Well, you know he's got range on that whole eating thing. Oh, he's to open no, up his gut. He has gut. to be in rage mode. Right now. And I have no intention of turning my back on this place just yet. Wait, what are you doing? Look! Well, that was dead. It's literally right there in an explosion. I could deal no damage to a little blood tattoo. I guess you think it was clever even I lied to him like that. Where did he go? You better tell me now! I have no idea! Get up and track his sin, Gluttony! Gluttony's a little bit not have a great day. Your body's dying. Mm, that was a good, solid kick. This should be more entertaining than I expected. <laughs> you idiot, Bling! Wake up, Bling! The name's Greed. Shut up! Give Bling his body back! Sorry, can't do that! I mean, Ed should lose heartily here. Given how uh, badly the original Greed beat the shit out of him, broke him. That, that is such a nice little martial arts sequence, though. I like it. Hey, Pops! I got him for you! For some reason, my subtitles are filled with placeholder. I see it pop up every so often somebody says something. You guys really made a mess of things, didn't you? If you had simply behaved yourselves, then we would have let you go a long time ago. Brother. The villains have succeeded. They've captured every protagonist. The game's over. I know it. Bling's alive. Yeah, I mean, my initial read on it is that that is Ling. Just pretending to be greed. <laughs> uh, you're going to see more of that soul world again. That's for sure. Is more complicated. That's all I'll say. Okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, they explained it a little bit more in depth, like later. So it's like I'll just wait until they do it. Uh, but well, I guess my to... thing is that I had no questions about Soul World, so you're just bringing it up. Doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> uh, then what? What do you have questions about? Nothing really. Everything seemed very face value, except for, as I said, Ling, which I think is just <laughs> Ling. Uh, we've also had the show finally just explicitly outright state that uh, Father and Hohenheim are just two completely separate dudes. <laughs> uh, that's been that was bouncing around for a while, but now the show's just like, ah, it doesn't matter. I mean, I think it only bounced around the last episode. Uh, it's been on the table for a while, really. Just well, because you never see them in the same room kind of deal. Yeah, which would lead you to believe that they are the same person. The only time mm -hmm. it was ever suggested that they weren't the same person was last episode. What's next time? I see that you've exhausted the regenerative powers of the stone. There's no need to worry. Fear not, my son. <laughs> There goes the happiest boy. I'll recreate you when the time is right, with all of your memories intact. Humans will always be drawn to create chaos around them, and they will always choose to spend their days in pain. This is what reminds them that they are alive. Sure. But this is the reminder <laughs> that you need. Kneel before me and I'll show you just how alive you are. 
Next time on Full Metal Alchemist. Don't promise me a good time. Episode 29, <laughs> Struggle of the Fool. Is a man still capable of standing if his arms and legs have been taken from him? No. <laughs> just, just going for the literal answer, I see. Well, it's true. You can't stand with no legs. Uh, and if you're talking yeah. about prosthetics, well, then you have legs. So, no is the answer. So I guess next time, Ed and Al somehow just make it back up to the street. We're back to normal life. There's no need to worry. Uh, weird homunculi things, they're just happening. They don't matter anymore. Uh, but yeah, um, I can't think of many other series where the protagonists literally halfway through just entirely have already lost. Uh, well, if it's halfway mind? through, well, I was saying it's not true. They clearly haven't already lost, considering mm -hmm. we have half the show left to go. If they'd mm -hmm. already lost, they'd be dead, and the show would be over. <laughs> well, every single person who was trying to counter the homunculi have been captured. Whatever they're doing is going to happen, and uh, nothing left for them to do. They provably cannot win. There's a difference between being defeated and having lost. Defeat is a is a temporary state. Losing is forever. You might you might get defeated in the first round of a soccer game, but mm. you haven't lost until the soccer game is over. In which case, is for all time you've lost to that soccer game. <laughs> so you're saying that they've lost, which implies that they will never win. Right. Uh. But it's still it's still pretty dire circumstances. Like, what what is your read on the situation then? It's no different from the early episodes, where they get defeated by a thing, go off, do research, gain allies, come back. It's just a different <laughs> enemy, right? It's no yeah. different than say season two, uh, Iron Blooded Orphans, right? We, We're gonna go back we, to the we, library. With we these find guys. McGillis, right? He allies with us, then we encounter Rustall, and Rustall starts kicking our ass. <laughs> uh so yeah i this was definitely one of the more action-packed episodes but it also kind of resolves the um main characters all fully at least understanding who their villain is what they're up to and what they gotta do uh it's just a shame that most of them are currently indisposed of now i mean they don't understand who their villain is Mustang literally got the entire backstory from uh, Fuhrer Bradley, right? <laughs> no, Fuhrer Bradley told him how he was created. He didn't really describe to Mustang who Father was, where he comes from, what his powers are based on. Mm -hmm. Mustang didn't even get anything about the uh, Philosopher's Stones, which is all what Father is. So Mustang right, has right. less knowledge about it than Ed and Al do. Mm -hmm. And Ed and Al don't know everything. Right, Ed and Al have been following up on the uh, research and magical pathway. Meanwhile, Mustang is on top of the uh, political conspiracy. So uh, those two worlds will have to rejoin again very soon and explain what's happening. Uh, any more any more thoughts for the episode, Theta? No, everything seemed very in your face. <laughs> yep, so next time, more greed. Uh, but for right now, let's go ahead and wrap it up for the day. This has been Stoneface Reactions. I'm Griffin. That's Theta. We'll catch you next time. See you around. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching another Stoneface Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below, and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?